Set Max's favorite film Suryavansham was a box office flop when it was released. But do you know that Set Max allegedly purchased the rights to Suryavansham for 100 years? It has even made Set Max over 100 crores. But how did a flop film become so profitable for Set Max? And how exactly do movies make money? Let's jump right in, shall we? Box office receipts remain a significant source of revenue for Bollywood films. The film is shown in a cinema hall to audiences who buy tickets to see it. Box office collections are determined by the number of tickets sold and their prices. However, the revenue stream does not stop with ticket sales. Hear from KJO himself. A cost, your recovery from digital rights, satellite rights, music rights and perceived theatrical, like average theatrical, what it can be in the worst average case scenario, uh, should kind of equal your cost of production plus publicity. Bollywood films generate revenue in a number of ways. Let us explain. The road to profitability begins before a film even hits theatres. Before a film is released, the production company can sell distribution rights to a studio or streaming service. This means that the studio or streaming service will be in charge of marketing and distributing the film and will pay a fee to the production company. Bollywood films are no longer restricted to domestic audiences. International markets, particularly those with sizable South Asian populations, contribute significantly to a film's revenue. Films are released in foreign markets often targeting specific regions with culture and linguistic affinities. Bollywood films are well known for their memorable songs and music. Production companies monetize these assets by selling the rights to these songs on streaming services, TV shows and other major events. The song frequently become popular before the film's release, adding to the film's overall brand value. Satellite and television rights are critical to the film's financial success. Producers negotiate deals with television networks to air their films, increasing their reach and earning more money. This method enables films to generate revenue longer after they have left the theatre. In recent years, the emergence of over-the-top or OTT platforms such as Netflix, Amazon Prime and Hotstar has revolutionized movie monetizing. Production companies strike deals with these platforms, selling the rights to stream their films. Movies that do not perform well in theatres can now find new life on these digital platforms, which cater to a larger audience. Advertisements and promotional materials shown before movies help to generate revenue. Advertisers value these advertisements because they cater to a captive audience. Successful Bollywood films frequently result in merchandise sales, including posters, clothing, toys and other items. Licensing agreements can also generate revenue by allowing the film's characters and branding to be used in a variety of products. Brands frequently collaborate with filmmakers to feature their products or services in the film. These collaborations can generate revenue and in some cases cover production costs. It's worth noting that the distribution and revenue sharing model can vary greatly depending on factors like the film's budget, star power, production house and marketing strategies. Some films adhere to a traditional distribution model, while others may employ novel strategies to maximize revenue. Using these methods, movies can become profitable even before they are released in some unusual cases. This can help to offset production costs and ensure the film's financial success.